Tonight in Miami-Dade County, it's all about who will be the two candidates running to replace retiring Congresswoman Eliana ross Leighton. She's been in Congress since 1989, but that's not the only reason this race is being watched so closely. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in Little Havana with that story. Gary. Well, we are in Little Havana at a popular ball and chain nightclub where Donna Shalala hopes to celebrate a victory in this congressional uh, primary tonight. It is a primary that should lead, the pundits are saying, to a Democratic win come November. Good morning. I'm voting for Donna Shalala. <laughs> Donna Shalala, former U.M. president and Bill Clinton cabinet member, voted for herself in Coral Gables at 77, lacking no energy. I'm feeling great, well rested, excited. Shalala, among the most recognizable Democrats, along with State Representative David Richardson, former reporter Matt Hagman, and former Miami Beach Commissioner Kristen Gonzalez round out a field of four. In Coconut Grove, David Richardson trolled for votes, hoping to knock off Shalala. And we're feeling good. We're feeling good. How are you guys? On the Republican side, Maria Elvira Salazar met reporters and voters in the Gables. Salazar has a very recognizable opponent in longtime county commissioner Bruno Barrero. A large field, seven more candidates make for a very crowded GOP primary. Salazar, a popular Spanish language broadcaster, is counting on exposure equaling victory. Viewers turned into voters. Her competitor, Bruno Barrero, worked the vote in Key Biscayne. Turnout key for him, he says. I feel good. We're here at the polls. Uh, people are turning out. Republicans have a couple of interesting choices. Angie Chirino, daughter of the famed singer Willie Chirino. Also in the race, Bettina Aguilera, endorsed by the Herald, who says she's traveled in space with aliens. Now, we apologize for neglecting to mention that Michael Hepburn, a former unsuccessful candidate for the state legislature, is also seeking the Democratic nomination in this congressional primary. Well, the voters have been voting in early voting and voting uh, by mail and voting in person today and closed polls close at 7. They'll start to see what the voters think about all this. We're live in Little Havana. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.